And joining us now is the man that helps keep ABS-CBN news on the cutting edge of broadcast technology. He's the head of ABS-CBN's news engineering division, Danton Winicky. Danton, thank you very much for coming to Future Perfect. Hi, Tony, and hello, everyone. You are the man who represents the future for ABS-CBN news technology. Because there are a lot of stuff that uh, you can have a chance to select from uh, internationally and see if it's adaptable for ABS-CBN's use. Yeah, that's right. We, uh, we choose technology that uh, will give us the most bang for the buck. Mm. Uh, so we evaluate uh, how the product is going to be applicable to our workflows, to uh, our people. And basically what we look for is uh, how it's going to make work f easier for our journalists, mm -hmm. how it can get us to air faster, and how it's going to give us and improve our quality. Right, and we said in the report that we're switching from analog to digital. Just how much of our uh, technology now is digital? Uh, most of our technology is on digital now. Mm -hmm. uh, our cameras were replaced uh, last year, mm -hmm. so we all have our tapeless cameras. We're yeah. using instead... Um, uh, we record now on CF card. The same things that digital uh, SLRs use. That's correct, mm -hmm. yeah. So we've gone away with tape. Mm -hmm. uh, we digitize the footage from the CF cards into our workstation, to uh, our news automation system. Mm -hmm. So that's all digital, all the way up to our studio cameras and our switchers. Mm -hmm. The only remaining tape-based uh, equipment we have are the uh, backups that we have in the studio just uh, in case uh, network goes down or we lose power. In case, so we, uh, in case a wrap decides to have a cable for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> so we always can run back to tape, but that's All really right. just the, 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 the uh, analog safe. tapes, the uh, mm -hmm. analog equipment we have left. Mm -hmm. And we're transmitting still on conventional microwave if we're talking about our outside broadcast vans or the OB vans, but we do have satellite transmission vans. Um, yes, even our microwaves are digital now, so mm -hmm. all the, uh, the transmitters that uh, our uh, company is, is uh, purchasing are all digital. Mm -hmm. uh, the, we have few analog transmitters that uh, have been existing that we're still in use. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, aside from the microwaves, we have the satellites that we use for transmitting. Right. And of course, we've seen so many uh, exciting uh, and sometimes even tragic uh, news coverage uh, in the past uh, few days. But most of the time when we go out and we try to cover an event, uh, that's happening in some area within or outside Metro Manila. I mean, what kind of equipment do we need to deploy to uh, an event like that? Uh, it'll dep it depends where the story is unfolding. If it's in a very remote place uh, in the province where we don't have uh, uh, reach uh, from our microwaves from the regional station, then we deploy the satellite. Mm. Uh, is this in a truck? Flyaways. No, mm. they're... They're, they, they come in, in a, practically in, in a big uh, suitcase. Mm -hmm. uh, we deploy that uh, in the provinces. Uh, we deploy that abroad. Uh, anywhere where microwaves don't reach. Um, in Metro Manila and in most of the center of the provinces, we uh, rely on our microwave systems. Yeah. So, for example, in that very infamous Manila hostage-taking incident, what kind of uh, equipment did we use to broadcast live from there? Uh, we had microwaves there. We mm -hmm. had our vans. Mm -hmm. We had our mic. Uh, we have our wireless cameras there as well. A wireless cams. Yeah. All right. So you're not actually tethered or cabled to uh, any uh, console, but you're transmitting wirelessly from the camera itself. That's correct. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we also used that in the uh, recent presidential election, mm -hmm. and when we had a forum with Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. We were, able to, we, we, we were able to use that camera when Mrs. Clinton stepped out of her limousine, uh, walked into the UST building, mm -hmm. and if we were not stopped by the Secret Service, we would have followed her into the elevator as well, and we would have been <laughs> transmitting all the way up to the stage. So, so you're actually not uh, hampered by uh, an enclosed space like an elevator. It's not like a cell phone that your signal gets cut off. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, the new technology for microwave, the digital microwaves, are very robust. Mm -hmm. So uh, does not require the same line of sight rule that we had in the previous analog systems. Yeah. So yes, we can go about anywhere within about a kilometer radius mm -hmm. uh, 
of the van or mm -hmm. of a uh, transmitter we have. And we have several in mm -hmm. Metro Manila. Yeah. So we could actually deploy, uh, instead of a van, mm -hmm. we could actually deploy a microwave, uh, a wireless camera in, mm -hmm. in Makati. Mm -hmm. And we could be transmitting from the camera directly here to ABS. Could you do that also, uh, say, out at sea? Uh, out at sea, no. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So That's where we use the satellite or mm -hmm. an, an IP-based uh, mm -hmm. transmitter. Now, of course, a lot of people are thinking that uh, since we have teleradio, that uh, we should also include in our broadcast arsenal a 3G-equipped cell phone uh, video cameras. Is that something that we even thought of using? Yes. Uh, some reporters are, are deployed or are equipped with 3G-capable cell phones. Mm -hmm. And we have a server here that captures... Uh, images from those cell phones, uh, it, it goes into our, our automation system and uh, we actually air some of those footages. Mm, okay, but the broadcast quality of course is not as uh, uh, clear as the ones that we take on our regular professional cameras. That's correct. Mm. Uh, but every year technology gets better. We mm. always uh, revisit that and evaluate whether that's uh, good enough to, mm. to use. Who knows, maybe the iPhone 4 which offers FaceTime might just become a broadcast tool. Uh, yes, but a lot, of, a lot of it is dependent on the bandwidth mm. that our cell phone providers mm. in the Philippines uh, provide. Mm -hmm. But since FaceTime I think is uh, dependent just on Wi-Fi, then that's something that is exclusive of the uh, bandwidth provided by the telcos, right? Uh, well, some telco companies, we don't have Wi-Fi coverage all over Metro Manila, mm. so it's limited. It's still limited. Yeah. All right, and the future, Danton, uh, before we close, what do you see for us uh, in the next maybe five years or so? That's uh, smaller, mm -hmm. um, more uh, efficient, and uh, easier to use tools. Mm. Is there anything that you see that could make cameras so small that you could wear them in your eyes, like a contact lens camera? Um, we, uh, at the moment, have our lipstick cameras for our for our, some of our current affairs programs. Mm -hmm. um, we, the, the quality of the of those little cameras that we have on a, on a gooseneck are not that good yet, not good enough for broadcast. But uh, they're getting there. Um, uh, I'm looking at cameras now that we can stick on a dashboard. Okay. Uh, so HD. It's like, it's like those uh, cop cams on the uh, yeah. wild police chases. Yeah, uh, <laughs> HD quality so you can get away with uh, we do, uh, doing away with a car rig and all those tedious uh, equipments that you have to put on to be able to do car shots or underwater shots. Underwater shots, yeah, yeah. that's something else that we haven't really uh, done much of in ABS-CBN News, yeah. but we do have underwater cameras, right? We have an underwater, we have a couple of underwater rigs. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, we'll probably see a lot of those, but not hope, but Hopefully not because another Ondoy is coming, so we don't want to be broadcasting underwater. Uh, Dan Danton, thank you very much for coming to the uh, show and, and explaining to, uh, to us some of the technology we use here uh, in ABS-CBN. Yeah, thank you. It's my pleasure. Well, coming up, it's time for The Flash. We'll tell you about the graphics toys ABS-CBN News have been playing with and talk to two digital artists about breaking into the special effects industry.